Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill Ten Rats. Welcome back to Ballroom. We are with our prince slash uh, boy slash mysterious stranger here, whose uh, background we had some illuminations about in the last episode. Although our sources were a bunch of skull wearing necromancers, so we'd probably be well advised to take that with a whole truckload of salt. And we are now on our way back to Grandpa, who has got some splaining to do. Uh, in any case, we also killed something that called itself, or was referred to by the game as uh, the Ancient One, which looked like the granddaddy of all mantises. And we didn't get a, an entry in our quest log at all for this, but that doesn't mean that it's irrelevant or that we won't be rewarded for it. I am considering stopping off at Leonard's place to see if Lenny can actually reward us for our noble deed there or whether that's actually something that um, came in a bundle like where we have to kill a bunch of individually named members of these uh, underground races like for instance uh, an ancient one that corresponds to the uh, a serapid race and not the sort of mantis like creature. I'm not sure if that's a correlation there. But yeah, lots of interesting uh, things to consider here. We have gathered some information about uh, our family history, which the necromancers claim is that we are part of the royal family that got driven off by the quote unquote rebels who are now by us referred to as the bandits, I think. The villagers were always talking about bandits and who are now presumably ruling Ballroom. And uh, yeah, our the fate of our grandfather Tristan and our father Edward aren't 100% clear, I would assume, because Tristan nominally made it to Darkwood, but then also is reported to have left it again to scatter the remains of the necromancers into the winds. And whether he came back or not is not readily apparent for us so far, and whether he's actually the king that's being referred to as the source for the underground city, to me at least is also not 100% clear. Uh, one thing we... I keep doing this... <laughs> I keep thinking this is an actual well. Oh god. Uh, okay, so... Yeah. Um, oh, that's also one thing we, we should be trying to figure out, I suppose, over where we uh, can go and get a... Uh, the, the separate entrance to that place and find out Hugh's fate. But yeah, with, you know, is 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 the underground city related to our family? Is that a different king? There, there are lots of um, still open questions in the game here, in the game world here, that um, don't particularly work with the background as presented by the necromancers. So maybe Grandpa has some answers, and maybe Grandpa can actually tell us whether he's actually Grandpa or whether he's just the court wizard who promised to raise us, which I seem, uh, which I think seems the more likely story here. And uh, tell me the truth about Darkwood, Grandpa, is one variety, or who are you? You've lied to me all these years, is the self-righteous other. I'm guessing we're gonna go with a more level-headed approach. Tell me the truth about Darkwood, Grandpa. Well, my boy, I knew the time would come when I had to tell you about the woods. Evil wizards made use of this place. The woods hid them from the world so they could do whatever their hearts desired. They did countless horrible things here. I don't know the exact details, but I know that they sacrificed innocents during their dark rituals here. They obey Nazareth, the god of that might be the next mad god. Hmm, we've read about the mad god and him burning everyone to a crisp while still alive, so that sounds pleasant. Why did they choose? Why did they cho- Why did they chose this place? Why did they choose this place, I presume? This place was touched by the gods centuries ago. Their energy flows through the woods even today. Mm -hmm. Dark wizards can use this energy in their rituals. Barnabas even says that the plants grow faster here. 
Well, that's mostly up to the wisps, but, you know, he's not wrong. Touched by the gods. I don't know for sure, but the ancient legends say that there are many secrets in these woods. There had to be a good reason for the gods to come down here and interfere with mortals. Why is it that no one came after us? King Tristan was the only one who was brave enough to say enough is enough. He gathered his red army. <laughs> okay, he's a communist king. He gathered his red army and slaughtered everyone here. Legends say they killed everyone in the woods, even the children, because they could not be sure of who was evil and who wasn't. People stay far away from this place because they think the evil deeds might happen again one day. They even say that the woods smelled of blood for a long time after the massacre. I think I've heard enough, now I understand. This place gives us protection because the outside world fears the woods. I mean, that was pretty much clear from the get-go, wasn't it? You're right, my boy. This is why we chose this place, and nothing bad has happened for almost 20 years now. Something big is going to happen, I can feel it. Well, if you make a deal for 20 years that nothing bad's gonna happen, and then the 20 years are up, I guess something bad's gonna happen. You know? That's sort of what the ne necromancers insinuated, that the leaders um, sort of cut a deal for 20 years, and then after 20 years they were free to take everyone's children and have a big sort of uh, child murder party. Who are you? You've lied to me all these years. Okay, so we have to be judgmentally self-righteous after all. I am sorry, my boy. I had to protect you from all of this. I was your caretaker back in the castle. I am not your grandfather by blood. You are the son of King Edward. Who told you this? I managed to enter the ancient underground city. The spirits of the Darkwood necromancers were down there. They have not been destroyed. They told me everything. I know that a few of us are from the castle. I know that our lives are all lies. You have to understand, son. We had to do this. The revolting rebels would have killed everyone. They killed your father and your mother. Okay, so they did kill father and mother of my boy here. We barely managed to escape with you. They did horrible things. We had to flee. I know you had to. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I let the necromancers free. I think they killed the packs. I dot dot dot. I dot dot dot. I, you have to calm down. You were only trying to help. Tell me what happened down there. I have to bring back the remains of the necromancers to Darkwood. If I fail, everyone dies. They were planning this for years now. I have no choice. I have to go. Leonard knew that something was not right about these woods. He kept saying that he feels a dark presence. I mean, that's just the sorts of things that sorcerers generally say, but I guess in this case he was right. We didn't listen to him. I'm so sorry that you got into this. It's our fault, and now you and the others are in great danger. I mean, you know, you go into the dark wood where the necromancers were, and everything sort of died, and the children were butchered, and you killed more children than innocents and whatnot, and then it's like, there's a dark presence here. No poo, Sherlock. Uh, you know, oh well. We need to keep calm. You cannot tell anyone about this. They don't know who we are. They think we are simple villagers just like them. Talk to Arlo. He will know what has to be done. No matter what blood you have, you will always be my grandson. Talk to Arlo? Okay, so Arlo is um, probably also one of the nobles then? I wonder who else. I cannot believe it. I have been lied to all these years. How can I trust anyone anymore? Grandpa told me that I should talk to Arlo. He's still <laughs> doing what he's told, though. Uh, good boy. Okay, interesting. Inter uh, did we not refill our thingamabob? Okay, we have everything up to full, I suppose. Hmm. Let's swing by Arlo's uh, digs and also... I think I'll try to... Get past the smith's house so I can get some repairs done before I forget. Actually, Osric, can I talk to you about chickens? Because I carry some severely disturbed uh, fowl around with me. Mm, no. Do you need any help? As a matter of fact, yes, I do need a little help. Can you feed the pigs for me? Take this corn and put it in the pig's trough. Or trough. Off? I think so. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess we can do that. I mean, you know, we might be a prince, but it wouldn't be becoming to start putting on air, so let's just uh, help out a little. Where will we find that? Okay, the ripe corn, there you go. Piggies are fat and fat, apparently. These guys look 
quite ripe uh, for the baconing. I fed your pigs, Osric. Thank you, boy. The world would be a better place with more lads like you. Here, take this smoked pork sausage. Yesterday I finished a batch, so it's nice and fresh. I know you like it. Oh, and take one for your grandfather, too. He's not my grandfather, so I'll eat it myself. Thank you, Oswick. Um, anything else I can help you with? Those pesky chickens again. A few of them managed to get out of the pen. Can you find them and bring them back to me? They sometimes hide in bushes. Alright. Um, I found your chickens. Thank you, boy. Here, take one of them. I'm going to reinforce the pen. The villagers... The village can't afford to, do, can't afford to lose more chickens. Jesus. Okay, so we have a chicken. Is that still a quest? I don't know. That's a small pork sausage. That's definitely not a chicken. Hmm, maybe that's something we can actually use in our... Um, maybe that's something we can actually place down in our... Uh, safe place? Probably. Alright, so there's Aaron. Let's have Aaron take a stab at our gear. Hmm, I need to repair my items, repair all. I need to talk to you because I need to sell you things. You're actually not that loaded in money. Oh. Yeah, we probably should explain where he got this if we sell it to him, so we might not actually want to do that. Um, take this. Uh, and this. No, not this then. Okay, well, we're worth a try. No. No. Hmm. Do we have any more arrows? Yes, we do. We can actually just... Do it like this then. Ta-da! Some more money in the pocket. There we go. And up to Arlo we go. I think he was somewhere in the north. Ow, my ears. Huh. That smithing sound. Okay, so Arlo was somewhere in this house, I think. Just past the... For a second it looked like Cardio has his underpants on his head. I think that's... Metaphorically speaking, that's true, but it's supposed to be a hat. Right. Mm. Arlo? Allo, allo? Eudora? Yes, that's his wife, I think. So he should be stomping around somewhere there. Hello, Sir Arlo. Kneel before me. I am your king. Well, actually not, but... I spoke with the necromancers, Arlo. I know about your deal with them, and I know who I really am. I told you, boy, stop poking around. Why didn't you stop? It doesn't matter. It would have happened eventually. They have planned this all along. They killed the packs. It's my fault. I thought that if I locked them down there, they cannot harm us. I thought they were only crazy witches. Kyler and Leonard tried to warn me, but I didn't listen. Darkwood was my idea. I only tried to protect you and the others. I was a fool. Oh, so that was his job before the... No, probably not. I don't deserve, I don't deserve to wear the king's armor. I don't deserve to live. <laughs> okay, that escalated quickly. <laughs> uh, do not uh, commit uh, Sudoku on my behalf there. You did what you had to do. All these years we lived in harmony. You saved us. It's my turn to protect the village from the necromancers. What did they say? What are they going to do? I have to bring them their remains back to Darkwood. They told me that I'm the only one who can find them. They won't harm anyone. They will wait for my return. I'm afraid that it's true. King Tristan hid their remains in magically sealed places. Only the descendants of the royal bloodline may enter them. Only you can carry out this task. Let's hope the necromancers stand by their promise. I will talk to Kyler and we will look out for the villagers. What are you going to do now? I have to leave Darkwood and start the search for the remains. Do you know anything about their whereabouts? Where should I start? I have no idea. Leonard should know something. The Mages Guild sealed the hiding places and Leonard was a member of the guild. When the rebels overran the kingdom, the guilds disbanded. I hope that over the years the Mages have found a way to keep the guild alive. I hope so too, because I'd like to learn Arcane 3. If you find the remaining members of the Warriors Guild, tell them I sent you and say the word Guardians of the Light. But don't tell them that you are the Prince. You never know who might be listening and the rebels were really mad when they could not find you because it meant they could not end your bloodline. They were possibly even vexed. <laughs> it's just a funny way to put it. They were really mad. It's like, Arr! Why did the rebels invade the kingdom? Was my father a bad ruler? Why did they hate us? 
We don't know, son. Your father was just a king. They started their attacks right after we dealt with the undead hordes close to our borders. After our battles with the undead, we were exhausted and the rebels took advantage of this. Don't reveal your identity to anyone, boy. D take care of everyone, Arlo. Be vigilant, because the portal to the city is open. They made the runes useless. We will do our best. I wish you luck on your journey. Now go to speak to Leonard. Okay. Okay. I mean, we can do that as well, because we wanted to talk to him anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm your prince. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, no. Muddy. <clears throat> and Wilson. Wilson, do you know anything about kings? Hello, Wilson. Uh, he doesn't. Okay. He is, after all, only a volleyball with a face painted on him. Right. So, Leonard is down there. <laughs> that would be great if Cardi was actually nobility, though. <laughs> Maybe he was actually the court jester. We'd probably never find out. He's the village idiot, so he was probably Minister of Education. Right. Hmm. And since Reese is a thief, he was probably in charge of taxes or something, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, I'll just sort of make a... a say. Oh, I should give one to Grandpa. Really? We're that honest? you are got to be kidding me. Um... Disgusting, isn't it? Oh. And there's a bunch of bears, a bunch of bears, all black and brown and covered in hair. Help. I'm stuck. Mm. Right, so I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna just make a, a save game before triggering any Leonard related uh, quest advancements because I don't really want to be in the position where it suddenly zaps me out of the. Uh, of the Darkwood here, and we can't really finish all the side quests yet. Hopefully there's some kind of warning, but I have a feeling that there probably won't be. It just seems like we're approaching this sort of point where we can open up the world, which is cool. Uh, I'm just not sure whether it's actually something we can easily come back from. I would guess we can, but, you know, better safe than all. Well, yeah, at least, you know, the necromancers weren't completely full of it when they told us uh, about our origins and all that. So, basically, story confirmed by not really Grandpa, who hasn't actually really told us who he was. Probably some sort of tutor or someone who had a hand in raising us since Edward and her queenliness were too busy being uh, kings and queens. Right, uh, let us do a pre-possibly out-of-woods save game and have a look. The necromancers are still alive, their spirits are weakened, but they are not dead. I know everything, I know why we are here in the woods and I know who I am. You must be confused, this is a lot to bear. So you know that you are the heir to the throne. I assume the necromancers burned down the pack's home and kidnapped them. I always had a bad feeling about these woods. Arlo will never listen to me. Thank the gods that no one else could hurt. Yes, they killed them. They did it all to get to me. They need me to find their remains, which King Tristan scattered across Baldrum. Only I can enter the sealed hiding places. Yes, the mages made sure that only the royal blood lane may enter those places. This was the only option to truly hide the remains, because they could not destroy them. Do you know where the remains are? I only know about one. Do you really have to do this for them? They might be unstoppable if they regain their true form. I have no choice. They will tell the rebels about Darkwood. Even the portal to the underground city is now open. I see. I wouldn't want to be in your place, boy. But I guess you are the only one who can do this task. They hit one of the last one on the last level of the royal crypts. The crypts are northeast of Erdal, the capital of your father's kingdom. Try to find the remaining members of the Mages Guild. They are the only ones who know where the other remains are. Have you talked to your grandfather? Grandpa knows everything. I have to go now. How can I get out of the woods? It's my job to guard the only easy entrance to the woods. My home was built on top of it. Climb down that hatch next to my bed. You will find your way out of Darkwood. Here, take this map with you. 
I marked the crypt entrance on it for you. I am proud of you, son. You could have run away, but no. You chose to help the people you love even when the help they need clearly puts your life in danger. You have the blood of kings, my boy. I have to go now. Wish me luck, Leonard. Hmm. Okay, so we should find another teacher. In which case it's terribly convenient that we're about to talk to some people from the Mages Guild, I suppose. And I guess we have a map now. Good evening, my lord. Balrum. Uh, this is not the proper map of the area. Uh. Okay, so we can't actually read this here. Okay, so this is this is the map for. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Right. So we need we need to leave. And what does it say there? Leonard told me that the one of the remains is hidden in the royal crypts. He marked the crypt's location on the map he gave me. I should be able to reach the capital through the trap door in Leonard's house. I wonder if that's going to make time pass. So we have day 30 now. Mm, the trapdoor is there. I don't really want to try this quite yet. Especially since we're running a little close towards the end of what I feel is this episode's runtime. Let's just take stock. So Osric, pork sausage, yes we can do that. And uh, we still could explore further down there in the underground city. And we still have that foul smell in Buck's house. Uh, and of course, the eternal mystery, which I think might still be tied to the underground city. So, what are we gonna do? Stay here, go to the city, and hope that, uh, that we can actually re access Darkwood. But it's probably going to be information overload uh, once we go to Erdal, because that sounds like it's a really big place. And uh, yeah, <sighs> we probably have a lot to do once we hit the city. What level are we now and how far away are we from? You know, we're a little bit more than halfway. And we got a bit of an XP boost by doing all the necromancer related shenanigans. So I'm not sure how likely it is that we will be able to gain that half level that we are still missing while staying in dark wood although there are still some places to discover i mean we've barely touched this here i don't know do we want to explore some more dark wood on the other hand we have spent around 30 episodes worth of content here and it might be nice to see something different so I guess I will need to take some time to make up my mind. So I'm guessing I'll just go see if Grandpa has any additional dialogue given the sausages. And if that is all we can do, I'll have a bit of a think about where to go next. And then potentially we'll just, you know, hit the road. Go to Erdal, see the city. Go to... Uh, you know, have some, uh, yeah, 150. That's that's not a big step for us here. Yeah, have a have a bit of an outlook on the bigger world here of of Ballroom. Yeah, why not? We'll see. But we'll do that next time. So I uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you then, and bye for now.